Stephanie, welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Today I am preparing a vegan lasagna. And I am using the Beyond Meat Burger for lasagna. And also some portobello mushrooms. So, if you would like to see how I make that, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, this is what I am going to use for my lasagna. I have one eight ounce box of lasagna. I have two packs of the Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger. I have one pack of organic portobello mushroom caps. I have two cans of diced tomatoes. One is regular and one is fire roasted. This has no salt and this one is fire roasted. I have two six ounce cans of tomato paste. These cans are 14.5 ounces. I have one medium to large white onion. I have two cloves of garlic. Here I have parsley, and it's one teaspoon each of parsley, oregano, and basil. And here I have one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and a pinch of sea salt. I have a pack of vegan go veggie cheese for mozzarella style and then I have probably a, it's just a little bit of this yellow cheese so I'm going to use that. I have some parmesan cheese for the top. I have some soaked cashews that I'm going to make the sauce out of and I'm going to mix that with this tree line. It's the scallion flavor to make my cheese to layer each of the um, layers of the noodles. So this is what I'm going to use. Okay, I have about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of grapeseed oil in the pan to heat. And I'm going to put my onions, my mushrooms, and my Beyond Meat in here to cook. And I chop my onions and garlic uh, in the food processor and I have this on a medium heat medium to high heat and I have some water boiling for the noodle and I'm going to add a little salt to that a little sea salt not a lot I'm going to let that cook down a minute before I add in the meat okay the Onions and the mushrooms have cooked down some, so I'm going to add the seasoning. Oh, that smells so freaking good. And if you don't want to add the Beyond Meat, you can just do the mushrooms and the onions, but just use more mushrooms than what I'm using so it can be a little heartier. I'm just new to being vegan, so I just prefer you know the meat until I get all the way there. Okay now I'm gonna add in both packs of meat. Let that cook and brown. Okay, while the meat is cooking, I'm going to put the noodles on for five to eight minutes, not too long, just to give them time to soften up. I don't want them all the way done because they'll cook some in the oven. And while that is cooking as well, I'm going to make the cheese. I lost my sound, so I'm going to talk through this. I am using two cups of soaked cashews and I'm actually going to end up using all of you you'll see that at the end but right now I'm starting off with the two cups of cashews and to that I'm going to add the tree line cheese to it
and then I'm going to add some parsley and I'm going to add some almond cashew milk and right here it's probably about a fourth of a cup and I'm going to add a little more later because it didn't blend well and I'm going to add a cap full of apple cider vinegar so here's where I went back in to add a little bit more of almond milk so I added about a fourth a cup more so it's probably about a half a cup in total and set that back on to blend and here I am finished and I used the rest of the cashews and blended those up separately and just poured them in the bowl um, added a little cashew milk to those and here I'm taking some of the parmesan cheese and I'm mixing that in and I'm going to add a little bit more of the seasoning to this mix as well and I probably poured about a fourth of that container into it and I'm going to add some parsley um, probably about a fourth a teaspoon of each of parsley then I'm going to add some oregano as well as some basil to this cheese and stir that all up together and then I cover it and put it back in the refrigerator and here you see I am adding my can of tomato paste and I had two cans but I only ended up using one and a half cans and I'm going to stir that up together really well to combine it and then I'm going to add my two cans of crushed tomatoes to that and stir that up well um, to combine them all together. And then I cover it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. So here is where I start adding it all together. I take a pan. Uh, I'm not for sure the size of this pan. I think it's a 9 by 9 I believe. And I'm adding the meat to the bottom of the pan so that the noodles don't stick. Then I add a layer of noodles to this. And I use four noodles on each level and this is going to be three levels high so I'm starting with four across and then three up so that would be 12 noodles in total so I ended up having to use an additional box of noodles to get all the noodles that I needed and if you want less just cut this recipe in half to make a smaller one so you make sure that you repeat these same steps on each level so the second layer is going to be, well not the second layer, but the second step after the noodles is to add the cheese blend. This would take the place of my ricotta if it was actual cheese and spread that on well and then add a layer of the meat sauce to this and spread that out evenly across. And then the next step would be to add in the cheeses after you do that and you can use any kind of cheese that you like of course but I use the yellow cheese um, as well as the mozzarella cheese but it's completely up to you depending upon what you like taste wise and then I sprinkled on some of the parmesan cheese after I finished putting those two cheeses on and then I just repeated this until I get to the last level and then I'm going to skip ahead and get to the last level or last layer and you guys will see at the last layer you do the same as the first um, except for you end it off with the cheese and you put more of the parmesan cheese on the top layer than you put in the additional two layers and that will be it just make sure everything is all covered with the meat sauce i had some noodles sticking up so i wanted to press those down into the pan as best as as best that i could and then we'll add the cheese sauce not the cheese sauce i'm sorry we'll add some more of the cheese to the top layer and make sure that it's spread out evenly across the top of the layers
and after this we are going to cover this in aluminum foil and as a trick to not to making sure that the foil does not stick to the cheese I spray the aluminum foil as you would see with some spray and that will keep the cheese from sticking and then that is it we place it in the oven for about 45 minutes covered and then take it out uncover it and put it back in for um, probably about 15 to 20 minutes to let the cheese fully melt and brown on the top and that is it Okay, I am about to cut this and see what we get and do a taste test. It's still hot. Probably should have let it cool a little longer. But this is the finished. So let's see what it tastes like. It looks very good. If I don't say so myself. And let's take a bite of this hot gooeyness. Mm. That's good. That's really good. See that? Very delicious. That is it. I highly recommend it. Again, you don't have to use the Beyond Meat. You can use any kind of meat alternative that you'd like, or you can just use all mushrooms, like I said in the beginning. It's completely up to you. The camera looks crooked. It is. I just wanted to try it with the Beyond Meat to see how it turned out because I actually really liked it as a meatloaf, so I wanted to try it in another recipe. So it's actually very, very good. So yeah, if you like the video, you like these types of videos where I do the cooking, please be sure to thumbs up the video. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the Stephanie's Journeys family so that you don't miss any videos. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.